So now we will move on and define this groove and generate a toolpath for this groove job. So we need to know what the dimensions of this groove are. We can very easily do this by moving to draw dimensions single and let's see what the difference in Z is. This is the inner diameter, outer diameter and we can move this a little bit around and now we need to know the width of our groove which is 7 so that gives us all the information we need and we move on to lathe and move to groove feature and we'll just start answering the questions and Tensor will do all the work we only need to answer the questions and this will result into a into CNC code to machine this groove. So we'll select option one. But we don't need any radiuses, but that's why we can select what we would like to. We would like an axial or a radial strategy, so that'll be option two. We would like to define an inner groove, which is option two. You can see we have four options. Okay. And we would like to load a new tool as we are making this inner groove so we'll answer with yes I will reach back to our reference point and this will lead us to the tool library where we can select a groove tool so we'll move to the database and we will select a groove of let's say a width of 3 and a length of 10 so we'll select this tool we'll enter a spindle speed a feed rate and a cutting speed of 120 and we'll click on OK and Tensor will present the cutting conditions and this is OK so we'll click on OK and now we need to def enter the proper dimensions for this groove so our reference point was minus 66.5 which is correct our inner diameter is 25 times 2 is 50 the D2 will be 60 and the width of our groove is 7 OK we will enter a radius in the corner here of let's say 0.2 and here as well as our tool also has a radius the angles are 0 and we'll click on OK the cutting depth uh, we can enter a value of 2 as our width of the tool is 3 the step is 2 will leave some allowance to finish our groove 0 0.05 and we would like to finish the groove so this is ok and uh, Tensor will ask you to enter a retract value after the rough job so we'll enter a z value of 10 in this case we don't need any copies of this groove so we'll leave this to zero and we will retract to a certain x value of let's say 15 millimeters as we have enough space there as the diameter is 50 and would you like to define a new tool for the finishing well in this case we will not do this so we'll answer with no and this uh, in this case we will also retract to X position of 15 and this will give us a C code for this groove so if you walk through the CNC code you can see the arrow moving there and we can start simulating this program by clicking on the tool button and move to the tensor simulator and load our program and let's see at the bottom of our program here we can introduce a breakpoint and this will be right here is our groove and we can enter with our right mouse button the toggle breakpoint right here I mean not there but there so and we'll start our simulation so this is the facing the actual roughing so you can see uh, you can check every NC job within the simulator so if there is a collision Tensor will give you a warning so this is the first start point of our groove
and if we run there through this program step by step you can see what the tool is doing we can even enlarge this and move on so this is the finishing retracts and it does the same on the left side and the tool retracts um, back to Z Z10 so here you can see is our NC program and we can now move on to the next NC job we need to do we have some grooves here so let's take a look at that right now so please move on to the next video